like in San Francisco, we're getting on the trolley. Here's the birthday man right here. Yeah, back in San Francisco. Our fearless leader, Jerry. Watch the water. Oh, okay. I didn't know if this was where we had to get off or not. Yeah. Thank you. We'll probably end up not saving us any time. No. Oh, New York. Yes. <laughs> I saw East Aurora. My brother lives in Aurora, Illinois. Uh, is this the one we have to have? Uh, We're on the Bell of Bell of Louisville. The Bell of Louisville with a 25 ton, 25 tons of, uh, of, of paddle wheel. Why is uh, Louisville spelled Louisville? Is it spelled no, Louisville? No. Sounds well, strange to me. It's, uh, I mean, it's, it does. Uh, it's kind of a, a, a very serious historical question. Yeah. Why is Louisville pronounced Louisville? There's probably some very logical explanation for that. And Tom's and I could probably for... offer up one. Well, why don't you but... offer it? We'll see if we'll honor your offer. Well. <laughs> you know that joke? Yes. What's this? Uh, what? You won't always want me to be honest, don't you? Yeah. Hi, I'm just informed by this lovely lady friend. How you doing? We are going to be delayed until a few moments this afternoon. In our departure here is where we're waiting for a towboat to come down. Well, there's a tugboat on the way. Does he work downtown? I think there's a fire in the back. A fire in the back. How long before they sound the, the alarm? Uh, the, I don't know. Uh, Weren't they playing some kind of a ukulele? I heard a ukulele strumming outside of the boat when we were. I could probably. I could probably. That pipe organ, you mean? I could probably do a three and a half gainer from here. <laughs> no problem. With it, but that only has a 2.6 degree of difficulty. Oh, yeah. The okay. water looks deep enough for you, though, Tom. I, now, I'll tell you, if we were the same height. In our hotel, the 10 floors up yeah. from water, it wouldn't bother me at all. <laughs> it really wouldn't. I love water. But being down there where there's a lobby and people. Yes, that sudden stop bothers me. <laughs> <laughs> sudden stop. I think that we should definitely. Tom, uh, I think that fountain shoots water up pretty high. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, that's a very uh, intelligent observation. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
How high, Gary? How high do it go? I wonder if they're gonna, you know, it'd be great to be out here and see the fireworks from out here. Yeah, it would be. The boat. Too bad we're gonna be in the, inside the Freedom Hall. Yes. Now, are you recording right now? Yes. See, mine has a, uh, a flashing light on the front. Oh, you're pitching it in. I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world, wonderful world. I see skies of blue and clouds of white, the bright blessed day, the dark sacred night, and I think to myself, videotaping for you, Bill. Oh, it turned out nice. I watched it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's got sound reproduction here, too. It turned out nice. Yeah. Well, you realize that Tom, isn't this just about the greatest thing you've ever done in your life? What, drinking this beer? <laughs> I've done it before. You've done it. It's no big thrill anymore, is it? Yeah, it's just kind of like second nature. <laughs> you got that elbow's greased up pretty good there. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, the old, the old. No, I noticed that this arm is much bigger than that arm. What does? What can you explain? Does that mean you usually bring the cup to your mouth with your right hand more than your left? No, it means that when I actually do physical work, I usually use this arm. This one is strictly for beer. Okay. <laughs> kind of in reserve. 
Uh, I suppose. Here's trying to put it that way. Yeah. Jerry trying to be sociable over here. Hi, hello everybody to my friends in Buffalo. There are none. <laughs> what? What? So they're all here. Yeah, they're all here. So you know, I'm happy. I'm gonna go back and get the big wheel. I know. <laughs> Tom, isn't this just the greatest experience of your life? You asked me that before. <laughs> I know, but I wanted to check to see if it changed. <laughs> uh, well, I'm... We have two other photogenic people here. Oh, sure. We have Bill Lottie and his wife. Highly... Which I can't remember names. I'm terrible at Marilyn. that. Marilyn. Marilyn, okay. All right. Well, we're getting you on videotape right now, even as we speak. It's okay. <laughs> You're thrilled, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of your life? Sure. Is this one of your life's greatest experiences? <laughs> yeah, right. Well, that's second. 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 Second to the list of 500 that I have uh, as number one. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing the hokey pokey okay. here. Okay. Are we about ready? Let's close the circle up then and make sure we get everybody in. It's Tom and Gary on the guitar. Can they hear us up there? Can they hear us upstairs? If you can hear us upstairs, we need you to come on down and do the hokey pokey with us. So come on down. Okay, we're going to start off with the right foot. Everybody show me your right foot. Okay. Uh, it's always a good idea to start off on the right foot, don't you agree? Here we go. You put your right foot in. You put your right foot out. Put your right foot in. If I were to attempt to explain, I probably would uh, mess up your uh, lens. <laughs>
upper base. While, especially while on tape. We have to oh. Can you swim? Yeah. Can I swim? I can swim. Yeah, I, we were just remarking how... thing floats. That camera buoyant. We were just remarking how neat it would be to be strapped on the back of one of those paddles oh, going through the water. Uh-huh. Yeah. It used to be a the movie once. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Steam calliopes are manually played all of them. Yeah, yeah. Um, you get a lot of there's a lot of reproducing air instruments out. Yeah. Uh, the authentic steamers are all manually played. Yeah. So the new one is the skyline of downtown Louisville. And then he's building it delivering his sermon on the boat. <laughs> what do they call that fountain? Um, probably the Fleur de Lis. The what? Fleur de Lis. Oh, sorry, Dan. Okay. Yeah. 
That's the fountain out in the middle of the Ohio River. We're up here in the Spire, the uh, restaurant that rotates. It's uh, Bill, Bill Faust, man. He hasn't been a subject of my videotaping uh, as of uh, yet, as far as I can remember. Yeah. But uh, gosh, he's a good looking guy in the camera. He ought to be a movie star. Now this guy has been in a, my videotapes before and most of them have been ruined, but <laughs> today is his birthday and so, did Steve, did Steve treat you alright? What's that? Did Steve, your waiter at the restaurant, treat you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, not bad. Good. Good. Well, you don't look a day over 22. Never see 42 again, let alone 22. <laughs> well, we came, we saw, we conquered. The only thing we had a big choice on the menu. They had uh, spaghetti and spaghetti and spaghetti. You know. in the sixth floor. Whistle blows. Man rises from bed and puts on his clothes. First quit whistle. Man puts on his red shirt in the non morning light. Says, Dan, I'm leaving now. Get up when you can. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Look up, dear. Look up. Look up! But, um, there's, uh, we got you last night while you were eating. Or, no, yesterday. <laughs> yeah, it was yesterday late morning when you were having breakfast. We were filming you from like the 15th floor, making comments about all of your... And there he goes, he's cutting something. Yes, he's putting it in the mouth, but will he be able to chew it? There's the swallow, but he makes a comment. Yes, he's opening his mouth with food. Oh, that's all right. Dick Leslin said he was calling me from the 5th floor. And uh, he thought for a second of throwing a penny down. Oh. No, but I, I, he's, yeah. only, he's only kidding. I bet if there was a fountain, people would be tossing stuff in the I want to get hit with that, a penny from one floor, let alone five floors. That Kingfish restaurant has a like a little pool all around the outside of the window there. We were sitting and eating dinner, and some little girl rolled up her, her pant legs and you know, there you go.
What are we in these things for? Hey! Hey! Where's the white hair guy? There are no. They're all blonde. This is bloody exciting. Freedom Hall. Freedom Hall.
got audio? Yeah. I thought when I when I looked up on the schedule until I saw you standing, I didn't know it was well, East Aurora. Okay. I, I yeah, I didn't know. You I thought you guys were like second. You were a big chicken. Okay. okay. Second, you guys must chicken. be East Aurora. Right. Right. Hey, 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 hey. What a memory. My name is Bill Rashley, and I'm sure the stage manager. Are. And that means I'm basically in control of everything that happens from the back. Lights, curtains, sounds. So the object is don't piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> Never tick off a tech guy, okay? <laughs> All right, uh, you'll see some tape on the stage. This is the only tape that should go on the stage because it guides our crew as to where to put things. All right, um, this is center line, this is the curtain line. Now, the thing about the curtain line is that it's an approximation. It's a guess as to where that curtain might end up coming down. Those are the masters of harmony. Chorus, I'd like to welcome you to the contest. Uh, you guys sound terrific. We're really looking forward to, to hearing hearing you today and having you bring all of the many hours of work to 12,000 people. You've not been on the international.